back and better than ever. If you've seen a good amount of my videos, then you know that I am on year five of being a plant-based human. I've been on the hunt for some new recipes for a little bit now to add into my little rotation, and I think I found a winner. Tonight we're gonna be making some eggplant bruschetta. Look at it. There's a lot of that. Can you see it? There's the bruschetta. It's a bruschetta with a little Mediterranean twist because I love me some Mediterranean food. Don't get me started. I'll also be making a chickpea salad to go along with that. Wish me luck because cooking low-key stresses me out. It's less stressful the more I get to know a recipe, but initially I, I, I'm a hot mess. I think I'm just afraid of making a mistake and messing something up. We gonna find out today, y'all. I went to the grocery store last night and got everything I needed. And fun fact, of the thousands of times I have shopped at Whole Foods, I have never once stepped foot in their little beauty department. It is so cute. Okay, back to you, Brie. So today we should be good to go with no surprises. Let me not burn the house down. Make a wish. You're not, you don't want to make a wish, okay? All right, I was just being nice. these ingredients. Ooh, I totally forgot that a pesto is involved in this too. Vegan pesto made with cashew cheese. I made a vegan mac and cheese a while ago using cashew cheese. It's so good. Really excited to have at it again. Ooh, kale, basil, walnut. Oh, listen, this pesto is about to be lit. If you've never had cashew cheese before and are very iffy about it, I highly suggest making it and trying it out in a recipe, especially if you're interested in a plant-based diet. I think non-plant-based people and plant-based people alike will all like it. It's very flavorful. Okay. Just to clarify, to really nail this point home, the walnuts are gonna be for the vegan pesto and the cashew cheese is just going to be topping to go along with the ingredients that you see me playing with here. Enjoy. scene I've been changing the camera orientation and angles because I'm also filming a reel from this meal the first time I've done this and it's it's pretty fun it takes a bit longer but it's very efficient because you're knocking two birds out with one stone so if you guys are also creators content creators youtubers whatever I highly suggest trying to do that as well and it gives you double the fun to look forward to when you edit okay here's all of the cut ingredients for the pesto I'm very excited about it. And after I put all these cut ingredients into this bowl, we're gonna go ahead and cut those eggplants. Watch out, boys. We're cutting eggplants. We're cutting eggplants. Y'all know what that means. We're gonna have a good dinner tonight. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Ironically, food vlogs ain't no picnic. Note the passage of time. I think these are one of the most challenging vlogs to do, but they are fun. All right, so I may have to do this food processing thing first to account for all the time I'm going to take getting shots of these little guys, which we're gonna cut in a few seconds. But first of all, look how pretty this food is, you guys. So colorful. No, the food's gonna be good when it's colorful. We should all be eating the rainbow. Do you hear me? Eating the rainbow. It's amazing how efficiently our bodies can work for us when we feed them correctly. You know what I'm saying? Type an amen in the comments, okay? Moving on. The texture of eggplant is so freaking cool. So spongy. The eggplants in half through the stem. Make four slits with a knife lengthways inside the eggplant. Looks like these are gonna feed a small village. Mm -hmm. 
brush each side with olive oil. Don't have a food brush? A paint brush will do. You know it will. It's going to have to. Mm. Works like a charm, fam. Make do with what you get. This is very fun. Wow. Looks like a wet seal. out of the blender because my food processor decided it didn't want to work. Yeah, I'm talking about you. And it's looking a little chunky. So I'm just gonna do a little hand mash and hopefully get it to be a little more creamy. Okay, back to eggplant. If you also think the dishes I used are too cute for life, would you believe I got them all for under five bucks at the thrift store? I'm so glad I was able to cut myself off because Lord knows I would have bought every single thing I saw in this thrift store. Maybe next time I'll go a little bit crazy. All right, everyone, the moment of truth is upon us. It smells really delicious. I've been taste testing along the way and things are looking pretty good. Let's see how it all works together. All right. Oh man, I'm so nervous. Wow, okay. Oh, okay. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Let me get a little bit of everything. Let's do this. Excuse me? Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. Mama like him. Oh, wow. I really was not expecting it to be this good. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to save this so I can watch Annie tonight. <laughs> I started watching it last night and it is so good. Anyway. Wow, I'm gonna get some salt. You know what, let me throw a little bit of pepper on there too. It all works so beautifully together. I'm always extremely hesitant to trust new recipes. So each step along the way, I'm just second guessing everything, wondering how it's gonna work together. But man, they never disappoint. This is great. Now the real concern is whether this is even a minute's worth of content, okay? Because it really does not matter how long you film. The editing lords don't care how long you spent filming. They care about the final product and they will, they will, they will cut, cut, cut away, okay? Me, I, I'm the editing gods. I, I'm the editing gods, okay? This is a success, fam. Very much a success. I need to get some photos done. Whenever I'm vlogging, I never like to wrap anything up or start cleaning before I have taken the thumbnail photos. I totally lied. There is definitely one or two times where I took the thumbnail photo on a separate day, but usually I like to just get everything done in one clean sweep. Okay, photo time. Ooh, yes, honey. You never looked better. Another obvious perk to taking photos the same day as the vlog is that my lights are already set up. I don't have to worry about changing my clothes or my hair. Ooh, you looking like a snack. No, you looking like a whole meal. A whole entire meal. Oh wow, these look great. I love taking photos so much, it's great. I'm gonna get some of me next, but you're currently sitting on the tripod that I need to use for my camera. So can you, can you get off really quick? You can sit right back down after, I promise. I promise, I promise. Okay, okay, get up, get up. Get Okay, but for real, I'm gonna sign off now. Thank you for hanging with me. I'm about to eat this and watch Annie. Okay. <laughs> However long and tiresome this may have been, I had a really great time. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope y'all try this meal for yourself. And feel free to leave me some plant-based recipes that y'all know of, because I am always, always searching for them. I know like four by heart, and that number needs to go up. But okay, y'all, you're awesome. Over now. Gonna come out tomorrow, so you gotta hang on to. Okay. As I was cleaning up and taking all of my lights down, I could not help but just be mesmerized by how cozy and beautiful this setup was. It's just so intimate and also looks like a colonial cottage in 1859.